welcome to Bible Talk. On this week's episode is on modest dressing. On the set of Reg Beth Productions, we have with us Sister Ida Clancy, and we will be talking about the topic of modest dressing. So the first question is, why do you dress modestly? Well, firstly, being a Christian, um, according to the Word of God, we read in 1 Timothy and in 1 Peter, in 1 Timothy it says that in like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with propriety, moderation, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly clothing. And prior to becoming a born again Christian, and I took lightly what I wore as being pleasing to God, dressing like the ways of the world, um, you know, having my skin shown, and you know, sometimes you know, in Australia, when um, it comes to summer, um, the weather changes, so we want to dress according to the weather. So you know, we don't want to cover up, we, and we still think we are modestly dressed. And you know, you're not because when people look at you, you know, men looking at you. They're not looking because sometimes not because you're an attractive person, it's because what skin are you showing? Mm. And I was still having a foot in the world and a foot with with um, with God. But becoming a born again Christian, being serious with my walk with God as as a, a female, um, you know, seeking more the truth that it it had to be more than just how we are just copying the ways of this world. If we are Christians men and women there, there must be something different about us and we were you know me dressing like the world there was no distinction there was no different mm -hmm. and I was getting the compliments from men that I didn't want those sort of compliments mm -hmm. so when I seek the Word of God the Spirit of God showed revealed in the Word of God that you know as I read before and when you read even in Peter Though this applies to women that are married, because it says in 1 Peter 3, submission to husband, but it is still the same. It says there, do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, putting on fine apparel, you know, wearing, you know, makeup, dressing to show your skin, you know, just because it's hard. Well, I'm entitled to wear a singlet and have all my skin showing. I'm entitled to wear short skirt and, sh and short shorts. As Christians, not as the world, not women of the world, so we are, there's no distinction. And when and people can't recognize that you follow this God who is holy, your holiness is not just in your speech or in your conduct, it's, it's also in the way you present yourself in your dress, in your dress code. Yeah. And so when I went into the Word of God and it just, the Word just like, Wow, in modest apparel, that means the Bible is saying that if you are the focus or the attention to other people and uh, you, it, you yourself causes someone else to sin, you know, we hear of the women rights of their saying, I can dress what I want, you know, it, uh, you know, it's the problems of men and all that. That's great. Again, I always say, if you are women of this world, you can dress for your father the devil you can dress for the world because you lack confidence you lack you lack humility you lack something that you need to expose your skin you need to expose parts of the body that is created to be covered up because we know what happened with Adam and Eve after they sinned their nakedness was exposed so God you know, they try to cover their nakedness and it didn't do them well. So God covered them in the, the, the proper uh, clothing that those skins were not shown to the world, was not shown because of the sin that they, they brought upon themselves, that now the rest of us, mankind. So, you know, a Christian that says, I am entitled to wear like this world, you know, I, I even heard of a church in America now they are in the house of God naked making up their own doctrine to say that we are back in the Garden of Eden. No sin 
took us out of the Garden of Eden. So we need to still now be covered up in our nakedness because the temptation that the devil put out there, the perversion that is taking place, women in particular, God created us attractive, beautiful creatures, but we don't need to show it to the world. If you are confident in your own skin, and you are following this God who is holy, you would want to please Him and cover your skin, not just because it is written in the Word of God, because you want to draw the, the fragrance of Christ that is on you, not through because you're beautiful, because you're wearing you know, the most expensive garment, you know? Even the clothes that we wear, I've never actually heard anyone go up to you unless you are that vain and say, wow, what sort of brand are you wearing? Or usually you just get that compliment, wow, I love that top, oh, I love that skirt, I love the way, you know, the way you, you look, you, you look, you know, it's elegant, it, it's not, it's not um, sensual, it's not sexy, it's not out there to attract the wrong type of people. So when I said to the Lord, it is, you know, if I'm going to be in this with you, I'm going to go 100% and over. And if modesty means no longer do I show skin that does not please you from the top of my head to the soles of my feet I wear modesty to reflect my relationship with you as my God as my father and also because there are brothers and sisters out there struggling they wanting to please God. They're wanting to go to the next level in their, their journey with God. In what can we do to please God, you know, who's, who saved me from, from a, a, a life of, of sinful nature, conduct, attitude that it was always about me. You know, if I dress the way I do, if I look sexy, you know, if I put on that beautiful garment and the apparel, the jewelries and all that, I know if I have that, you know, I've gone to the hairdress and I've had my hair done, I know people are going to compliment me and then, oh, I feel so good. So it's about if I don't get the fulfillment from myself or from God, I'm going to get it from men and women, not realizing you are causing someone else to, to sin, but, you know, you're bringing jealousy, you're bringing um, strife, you're, you're just bringing negative things that you can do without in your life. So, for myself, covering up, it's not something that out there, I'm out there saying, look at me, look at me. You know, many people think, oh, you know, you always get the compliments even from my, my own family that, oh, you know, wh wh why do you always wear covered up clothes? Like, why don't you show your, you know, why don't you show your skin? You know, why don't you, you do yourself up or whatever? I said, I was like that. And it never satisfied me. Something was always not right. Because it's like every time we want to please man, every time we're wanting to please the world, we become even worse people, you know? We become worse people and um, to the point of, why am I doing that? There should be only one person that you want to please, the one that gives you love, the one that is able to give you the peace, that you don't have to run out there and, and you know, dress in the, the you know, the high class, the, the brand name, the whatever it is, but just to cover up because your Lord says it and why not so I dress to cover up and because God created me as a female as a woman as a child of God and I need to wear what pleases him so if his word says even in Deuteronomy you know if we read that what's interesting is even Christian women today they think oh well God overlooked that I'm sorry but the Lord God that created the world in Genesis is the same God from the Old Testament as he is in the New Testament. And if he is the same God of yesterday, today and forever, why do you think what he said in the Old Testament should not apply to us even in the New Testament? Because 1 Peter and 1 Timothy is from the New Testament that talks about modest apparel. Yeah. But 
in Deuteronomy 22, I also, I used to wear pants all the time, shorts, because I thought, oh, Lord, this is more comfortable, it's more practical. But in going to the Word of God, modesty is not just wearing just to cover up, but it's what pleases God. And another form of clothing, it says, a woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. Now as a God-fearing woman, as many of us Christians out there, many leaders, women leaders out there, leading the sheep of God, they, are, they, they will ignore this scripture to satisfy the, the lust of the, 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 the eye, the, their flesh, because you know, when we women, we go shopping and we are like, wow, that is such a beautiful, such and such, not realizing, hang a minute, you no longer dress for yourself. You're, you are dressing for this holy God. Now it was, it, it was easier to just go and grab, oh, I, I love that, I love that. No, Lord, your word says that if I am to dress as a, wom a woman, then why am I grabbing all these outfits that is not pleasing to you? Not, not only pleasing, it's an abomination to the Lord. So even when men, you know, what we see today now, the, the transgender culture, the whatever culture that, that goes against who God is, you know, making up their own rules as they go uh, goes along. Well, God, 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 God is not. But it, it, it's not that He's not going to send you to hell. He's looking at the, your heart. God looks at my heart. I can wear like a harlot going into the house of God. Did not Jesus Christ come to save the tax collectors, the prostitutes, those that are lost? So if a Christian, a believer, if I, who is the pastor's wife, be an example in the house of God, dressing to suit me, but not to suit God and, and, and what he expects from the children of God. How do we reach the, the lost? Okay, so for the people out there who are not exactly sure how to dress modestly, um, what would you say to them and what are the fruits of dressing modestly? Oh, okay. Well, uh, again, it, you know, the... the well, who I the the audience yes. is more so for the Christian yes. woman out there. Um, modesty dressing is not just putting on an outfit. You know, a lot of us Christian women think, well, as as long it's it, it's a dress or it, it's uh, a pants or it's a, a top or whatever it is. You know, you you've got to put more into consideration because when you read the Word of God. It should jump to you to say, and what I'm wearing, the modesty that God is saying in His Word, because many of us, we go to church and we wear a mini dress, for example, a dress that just goes above the knee. To them, it is modest. But try sitting down and you see the hemline go up, draw up. So what will be exposed? Everything from down your calves all the way down to the feet and the way that God designed us women is that there are certain part of our skin that are, men are drawn to mm -hmm. you know we know for a fact that the breasts if you were to wear a low cut blouse a low cut dress singlet whether you are a man a, a man of God a brother in Christ or a man of this world, whether you are 15 of a boy's age, 12 year old, an elderly man, when they, eye, their eyes connect to a woman's skin, if there is skin showing here, there is skin showing from sort of the up here, downward, certain parts of your arm, certain part of this area that is exposed, sin will start to enter yeah their eyes will start to give more than just the first glance you know we've seen them we were as we walk on the street we see when the worldly women dress what happens to the eyes of the men it follows them yeah and straight away the bible says that even if you were to look at a woman lustfully you have committed a grave sin yeah. unto a holy god so when women god-fearing women of god women preachers up there dressing 
up there like the world where they think modest is when you wear just a sleeveless top and your hand is raising to worship a holy king and everything is showing what are we exposing what are we telling the world what are we saying to this god that we love i don't really care about your opinion god yeah. i will dress the way i dress and women that wear tight outfit that you know the silhouette you can see the the silhouette of their curves of their breast of their legs you know they think that is modest tell the brothers behind you as you're worshiping and your clothes forms the outfit out of your buttocks you think they are preoccupied with worshiping our god when you have caused them to sin in the house of god go home and cover or change that outfit that is not modesty that is sensual sensual and sexiness is not in god's vocabulary it is not meant in the house of god and is not meant for a woman who says they fear god just because you you, you are anointed because you can worship up there just because you can preach up there you can dress whatever you want no no there are standards that god God desires from a woman or a, a, a daughter of God whether you are serving up there or you are part of the congregation you have a responsibility mothers grandmothers grandfathers husbands and fathers we all have a responsibility to say to that grandchild are you coming to the house of God are you stepping out of this house dressing for men or dressing for your God are you telling me that you are a Christian and you are dressing like a whore when a husband, a preacher whose wife is up there standing alongside him dressing with high heels so high you know there, there's a, a movie called The Devil Wears Prada and yeah. there, the picture is of a big high heel you know what what do you need what, do you want to grow even taller than your husband you stand alongside him dressing more sensual than modest and there is a difference and you cannot cover with just a show just because your husband says your skin is showing i knew of a preacher who were invited to come and preach at one of the churches and he said to pastor i cannot pray over some of these women because are they first time non-believers or are they Christian and when pastor said no they are Christians he said I cannot pray with them because the eyes are the soul mm. you know and what does not please God I cannot go through with it unless these women have something to cover them that it will be the only way I can pray with them mm because these were women of God, God-fearing women, uh, women that went to Bible studies that should know about even how to dress. Yeah. One particular Christian was stopped by another Christian person that was handing out tracts and said to her, um, are you lost? Are you not saved? And she turned around and said, no, I'm a Christian. I'm a born again Christian with that attitude. Like, yeah. who are you? And this girl said, oh, wow, really? I think I need to speak to you about the way you dress. Because basically you're not represent. Wearing mini skirts with yeah. high heels and your skin exposed. Is that modest? That is not modest. In your own definition and that of the devil, it is modest because you've caused men to be, to be tempted and you have not pleased God. And the fruit of not being covered up is that you get a lot of headache from men and women. You know, women are, are always also jealous of other women. When they, you know, they are dressed in a way and they get all the attention, some, some women will go, well, you know, why are all the men looking at her? It's because the truth is she's not confident in herself. And that is why she thinks, okay, I'll just slap on a, a pair of shorts, 
you know a little skimpy shorts and still go to the house of God because it's hard and and you know if men have that problem you know why not and, and anyway it's modern it's it, it, it's clothing covered up no you look at areas that you know the Spirit of God will, will, will convict you to say do you know that every time you wear worn that low cleavage outfit at the top every man in the house of God has had to cover their eyes mm. that the preacher unless he's a God-fearing preacher he will not say sister are you a new believer are you unsaved no then can you go home come back with something that is covered up for you are in you are on holy ground because when we pray and we say you know when two or three are gathered there he is in the midst who is in the midst the pastor the wife mm. the wife does not dictate to the husband that what she can wear to the house of God honey it's fashionable I can wear like this I can start wearing pants because they're not really pants they're women's pants look wife the Bible says if what God says is then it is the word is yeah read it God is the same of the Old Testament as he is in the New Testament don't tell me that you know we now follow the New Testament because you are a big fat liar mm. because the New Testament says how a woman of God in the house of God should dress but not just in the house of God because we are dressing for God 24 hours we, we away from that from the building the church we live for God out there in the world yeah so if you are not recognized as a Christian because even how you dress they people know people know you don't take your God seriously yeah. and the fact that they know they they complain about wow you know you call yourself a Christian but man you've got more issues than we of the world yeah. you've got no peace you know you know you you've got a bad reputation at work as someone that was is always complaining you know this and that and you go on and what sort of God do you follow you know you 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 must be a very rebellious Christian but a child of God a woman of God that wants to please God you know the fruit of the spirit the 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 the, 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 the peace the the love the the long suffering you can you, you have more compassion for those that are still lost in the world you know I, I never used to think well I, I'm not gonna have time for certain groups of people out there mm. but when I realized I was living for me in a, a self-righteous way not a godly way you know I had to stop myself to say what am I doing with this Christianity walk it, it can't be just you know looking the part like looking the part means say, saying that you know I'm, I, I'm dressing modest that's enough for you for, for God that that should be enough for God yeah. but if God's word is saying you know why do men out there look and get tempted most of the time is because most of us women are showing it you know and stop using women liberation stop using that this God is not fair why did he make this and that mm. you know keep sometimes keep your mouth quiet and read the Word of God and get that revelation that God only wants what's good for us his daughters and having that peace that this world cannot give is obedient to what God is saying and if it means cover up cover up cover up areas that is exposed to the world and the devil because you know it's the devil that brings that temptation to yeah. say look man check out mm -hmm. you know this is supposedly a God-fearing woman of God man she dresses like the world you know gives them an opportunity to go out and even look for women of the world rather than say there they are women God-fearing women young women who are desiring God-fearing men but look at how they love their God young women you know you at, at the age of 20 when you came to that revelation of you know um, dressing modest was not to dress sexy or sensual yeah. it was to demonstrate to the young people out there
Okay, so thank you for talking with us today. And is there any advice you would like to give the people who are watching? Um, well, the only advice is that as a Christian woman, young adult, female, yep. you know, young adult, female uh, especially, you know, don't again fall into the pressure not just of the world but even some of your friends at church just because they, they dress to please themselves yeah. and some of them uh, maybe their parents are ignorant or don't want to uh, you know rock the boat and stop them coming to church but the fact is you need to speak truth you need to speak it in love and say you know is what you're wearing pleasing to God if you profess to be a God fearing woman of God yeah. and especially you know young adult young female they, they look to the older all the women in the church the, 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 the pastor's wife is if the pastor's his wife is wearing what she's wearing exposing and 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 say well you know what I'm wearing is sexy it's pleasing to me you know um, it, it honors God as a young adult you know think twice before following the example mm. of the preacher's wife or, or women out there that like to show their skin because it makes them to me women that show their skin they lack confidence they they want to empower not just themselves but just remember what happened to women like Delilah the Jezebel spirit you know we have a role in in the in in the hierarchy of following God and for the young people that are being pressured to look good, to follow uh, the you know the pressures of the PR group, to dress with you know low cut short or you know dress because of the weather, the climate, and all that, yeah. think twice. Examine your walk with God. Look at the mirror and don't ask the people around you. Ask God. Mm. Ask the Spirit of God if it dwells in you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So nothing disgusting, perverted, defiled can live in you and honor the same God. So what you're wearing out there doesn't please God. Just because your girlfriends are wearing shortcut denim to church because the, the pastor allows it you 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 stand out no I, I choose now to dress readiness for when my Lord Jesus come he's not coming for the whole for the harlot church he's coming coming for the pure bride yeah. and dress to please Jesus Christ dress so that when the brothers that when they see you you know they they know that they 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 are they don't have to feel intimidated. They don't have to be tempted. They don't have to um, feel a need to avoid you. Because yeah. as much as you wanting to show your skin, you know, do it for Jesus. Do it for God. Do it for those around you. And don't follow peer pressure yeah. because the Lord God is going to come and he's going to come for you not the group not your little groupie that all dress the same going to the beach all dressing two-piece suit and calling yourself a Christian and tempting and being like the world so go to the Word of God seek it seek him and you will find him and if you are passion if you are wanting to please God which you know like yourself you know you were not forced to dress like this no. as much as you know the world was telling you family was saying oh it must be because your uncle you yeah. know yeah so you know i, I can go on but I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll okay now, but thank, well, thank you, thank you. Yep. thank you for speaking with us and i encourage you all i hope this encouraged you and god bless you all bye, bye.